Hey y'all, welcome to Cooking with Kay Jamie. We're about to make a big old pot of chili. What doesn't say fall more than a big old pot of chili? This is gonna be from the Trim Healthy Table Cookbook. Recipe is called Save My Sanity Chili, and it's on page 81. So, I know this is kinda loud. I feel like I'm screaming at y'all, but I've got my heat turned down as low as it'll go. Cooking up two pounds of ground deer meat. So I just gotta get this crunched up. This is a pampered chef mix and chop. If you don't have one, get one stacked. It's amazing. Just gonna get all this meat crunched up real small. I have all my stuff ready, I think. I think I got it all ready to show y'all how quick it is to mix this up. We've got a secret vegetable that's going to go into this chili. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard about the ground meat mush Ooh, there you are. <laughs> mushroom hack. So I have already diced up a container of mushrooms and if you can see this ground meat, you can watch and see how this is just going to be camouflaged in. Nobody will ever know. You cannot taste it. It is not easily detected. So make sure your little kids, nosy little kids aren't in the kitchen when you're cooking. All right, now I'm veering from the recipe a bit, um, especially the directions, because what we're gonna do we're going to incorporate this together, okay, and then we're going to add the seasoning. I just find that this is very helpful. One way that you can do this is um, mix all this together just like I'm doing and then put all your ingredients together in a crock pot and let it simmer on low all day. Really, really good. Or you can um, simmer it on medium heat on your stove top for about maybe 30 or 45 minutes and it really helps get all the flavors and stuff um, together. Okay, so now we're going to go with our um, chili powder first from the cookbook directions. All right. So we're going to do, it, uh, it wants three tablespoons of chili powder. Next up, cumin. Okay. Onion powder. Ooh. About to need another one of these. I've used this whole, I missed this entire thing. <laughs> okay, some uh, minced garlic. Which, if you want to chop up your own, that's fine. But I get this handy-dandy little container from the grocery. And it's cute as it can be, and it's reusable for all kinds of fun things. All right, we're going to do a teaspoon of this. Okay. We're going to do some oregano. How much? How much? Another teaspoon. All right. And next we have some mineral salt. I use the THM uh, mineral salt. Isn't this the cutest little thing ever? And it's even got a Mississippi on it. Yeah. I had a client that lives in Florida that found one. It didn't have Mississippi on it, but she was so excited. She found one like I had, a little salt keeper. All right, now we're gonna do a little super sweet. It says one and a half to two teaspoons of super sweet. I usually just do about three quarters of a teaspoon. I don't like a super sweet chili, but if your family likes a super sweet chili, then go for it. Okay. Um, and then a little cayenne pepper. So we're just going to do a little dash or so. And we are going to mix this up. And guys, look, I'm just going to tell y'all, I'm keeping it real today. This is what I have worn all day. It's a little t-shirt. It's ginormous on me, but it's comfy. It's just been one of those days, but hey, it's gonna go right in hand with this comfort food of this Save My Sanity Chili. 
I like comfort food of sweets, but savory is my favorite. And this chili really hits the spot. Cooking it, the meat up in this cast iron skillet really will help increase the iron in your meal. If you're having trouble with low iron, this is really iron. I feel like I'm saying iron. Your ferritin levels. Anyway, so we're just gonna incorporate all these spices with our comfy clothes on and um, it's gonna be so delicious. I think that's nice and happy. I'm going to put this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over. I'm going to get my big pot. Go ahead and put, where'd my broth go? I've got a quart of my um, chicken broth here. I'm just going to put this. I'm going to turn my heat to medium here. Just get, go ahead and squeeze this in. Okay, this has zero fat. You wanna be sure that your broth is zero fat because this is an E recipe, okay? And I've got all my beans ready. Pinto, they are drained and rinsed. Two cans of pinto. I use Great Northern for the white beans. I don't think it says that specifically. Yeah, white beans. White beans. There's another white beans. The black beans is not on here, but my family really enjoys them. And so I just add them in. It's not gonna hurt anything. And it also kind of makes the color look like legit chili. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we have our tomatoes. And I get the um, chili ready tomatoes. Got a little extra seasoning in them. Oh heavens, I've never thought, does it have sugar? It does have sugar. Don't get these. I've never thought about that. Till just now while I'm on video with you lovely folks. Oh well, don't get the chili ready tomatoes. They would be off plan, my bad. Coach Amy don't know what she's talking about right today, does she? Okay, now I'm just gonna use a little scooper and get my meat in here and then we're gonna saute the onions and then add them in. Um, if I had a bigger cast iron skillet, I could have done the onions and the meat together if I wanted to, um, but it's just, just the way I do it. It's going to be so delicious. So after we get all this in here, we're going to just going to cook up the onions and that'll be it guys. We'll be ready to roll. Just to let it simmer. Um, medium to high heat for 30 to 45 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get another oven mitt. Get it kind of set up there. And scoop the rest of this in here. this thing is hot. All right, and now we're gonna add, um, I'm gonna turn the heat on this one here. Get my onions going. And we're just gonna cook them until they're soft. Won't take long. All right, we give this a little stir. Doesn't it look good already? Oh my goodness. Hey, and if your people aren't onion people, you don't have to do the onions, but I think they taste really good. All right. Have a little taco chicken. Have y'all tried this? It's delicious. All right, so I got my heat on high, and I'm just gonna saute these a little bit, and because um, I didn't want to pour them frozen into my pan. Now, if I use, I have a really ginormous family size pan, but it's not this cast iron skillet. And I have just been adoring using this cast iron skillet. It's, um, I had a little paper chef party, and one of my little perks as a hostess was to get a pretty good discount on the cookware, 
and I grabbed this thing up. I was so excited about it. So I'm going to let those sit for a little bit, kind of tidy up. So I hope that you um, enjoy. I really thought that a lot of people already made this recipe, um, but talking to different clients and stuff, I realized that is not necessarily the case. And I was like, you know what? This is my little fall section of recipes. And you have to have chili in the fall. It's just that feel good um, dinner. You know what I'm saying? Now, if, when I do this um, for when we go camping, I prep ahead of time. So I go ahead and make up everything, but I do put it in the crock pot. And that's usually what we have the day that we get to the campsite for dinner. Um, we don't travel too far away. And so, you know, it's fine. It's been sitting in the crock pot all day, simmering, getting all nice and happy. And when we get there, I just plug it in. And when we're ready for supper, we just uh, have at it. It's no extra stuff. You know, you just dip it out. Now, how do we eat this? So for me, as a Trim Healthy Mama, in E-mode, with these lovely beans of healthy carbs, um, I like to keep it real simple. And I might add some fat-free Greek yogurt to the top for a little sour cream feel. Um, but of course, we want to keep this super lean. We don't want any fat. So that's how we're going to use the fat-free Greek yogurt. I might do a sprinkle of cheese, not much, because we don't want to get any fat, um, you know, over the five grams in the guidelines. Um, sometimes I'll have the Tostitos baked corn chips. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I do love to add a non-starchy, like um, just some easy little cucumbers. Sometimes I drain it real good and kind of put it over romaine, kind of like a taco salad would be. Um, but you know, not necessary. Lots of ways to do it for sure. Um, for my husband and kiddos, they do have, and we get great value, corn chips. <laughs> kind of like Fritos. And they do enjoy that and it's super fun. They love the cheese and the sour cream. Sometimes we even slice up avocado um, and that kind of thing. So that's the way I feed my family. And it's fine, it doesn't bother me at all if they wanna do that. Um, if you wanted to do a crossover for yourself, you could do the same thing. But just remember, crossovers are on plan, but they're not optimal for weight loss. So we don't wanna do them too many times. Okay, so these are getting nice and soft and looking good. I'm gonna give them a few more minutes. So I used um, ground deer meat in here because, you know, we're big hunters. We get all the deer and have all the ground meat made and processed. Super great. Um, you could use um, ultra lean, 96% ground turkey or beef, and um, that would be good. I mean, you could use chicken if you wanted to. That would be fine. But um, this has just been really, uh, really convenient for me since I do have the lean deer meat. I love being able to make personal recipes with that. Um, another idea is to get the beef, of course, and do the hot rinse to make sure you get all the fat out. So um, that's it. Okay, it's just been a few minutes. We've been trying to get those onions cooked down. And now I'm gonna transfer them over. Do my little trick over here. You know what? I think I'm going to get a slotted spoon, y'all, because there's a lot of moisture coming off these onions. Okay. Good. Oh, this is going to really add to the flavor, for sure. Love seasoning blend. You can also make your own seasoning blend if you would like. Just chop it out all the things up in your blender and you're good to go. Okay. Let's mix this together. Hi, I'm recording a video, okay? You're not supposed to be inside. You want to tell them hey in your mix match pajamas? Hey. What are we, what's mama making? Tacos. Mm-mm. Chili. Chili. Chili, that's right. <coughs> Bless him. He's been coughing a little bit. Tell him about what? About what? Oh, it's fine. Okay, guys, so that's going to be our Save My Sanity Chili. It's going to be so good. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks, and I hope you make it soon. Thanks for watching.